Welcome back to The Delore Factor. As I promised, I'm here with Sigrid. I'm so blessed and proud to be here with you, Sigrid, because you are the one person that we see constantly with Derek. People know of you, they hear of you, they see you, but they don't get the opportunity to hear you as much as we hear Derek. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Delia, and I uh, want to wish you a Happy New Year. Thank you. First of all, and thank you for having me on your wonderful program. Thank you. Now, Sigrid, where are you from? Because as far as I, I know, you are always constantly in St. Lucia. I know you travel, but you call St. Lucia your home, I would, I would think? Yes, I do, mm -hmm. absolutely. 24-7, um, we live here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm originally born, uh, was born in Germany, and then we uh, immigrated when I was uh, seven and a half to the United States, New York State. And actually I met Derek in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, it w there was some um, electricity there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, he um, took me to St. Lucia the, for the first time it was for New Year's 1986 wow. and uh, I was very well received by Derek's friends. Mm -hmm. Let her talk. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> and I, I fell in love with St. Lucia and I have to say one more thing. There was a um, Carnegie Library on the square, mm -hmm. which is now Central Library. But Carnegie, who's from Pittsburgh, started all the libraries in the world, gave the seed money. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, my goodness, I'm at home because I met him in the Carnegie Library mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And what were you doing there? There was a, a very large gala affair mm -hmm. in the museum and, and the library, there's all one uh, building, for the 20th anniversary of the Pittsburgh Poetry Forum. And uh, they had uh, champagne and, uh, and um, the readings of several poets, and Derek was one of them. And that's where I got to know him after, after when everybody socialized mm -hmm. after the readings. So I'm sure I, I would assume yes. that that helped really within your relationship with him, because you obviously have an interest in the things that he's interested in. Well, especially art, because mm -hmm. I, I had not read enough poetry you know, since university, mm -hmm. but I was involved in the art business. And he, uh, when I met him, he actually knew a lot more about art than even I did, and I mm -hmm. was in the business. Mm -hmm. So that was our connection. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us a little about your parents, because you said that you were born in Germany and you went across to the States. What did your parents do? Uh, my father was a, a MD psychiatrist and my mother was a nurse and obviously they met in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and um, because of the war um, in Europe, World War II, they immigrated to the United States uh, because my father uh, was Latvian and the Russians had taken Latvia. And so, uh, well, it's a long story, but yeah. I'll make it short. We came to the United States in 1951, right? Okay. Uh, upstate New York, and it was a wonderful country to grow up in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, being in St. Lucia and being introduced to the Caribbean and to Caribbean arts, as it were, when you first came over, have you, what makes you feel more settled in the Caribbean? What is it that makes you feel like, wow, you know, I'm so glad that I, I live here? Well, um, the beauty and of course Derek is very much at home here mm -hmm. and, he, and it makes me feel comfortable too. Mm -hmm. The beauty and the people I enjoy very much and we have traveled so much all over the world mm -hmm. and lived in New York City and in Boston in big cities that the nature here is, is so bombing and so so um, nourishing that I'm in love with it mm -hmm. and, and I don't miss the big cities because that's a certain time in your life you like um, all that um, excitement of the big city but I, I just love being here in mm -hmm. St. Lucia and leading kind of a beautiful quiet life. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what would you say your hobbies are when you're not you know with Derek when it's you sitting well, on your own? <laughs> well, I, I used to be an art dealer, so it's always been um, kind of uh, rewarding to 
set up different art pro shows for Derek's mm -hmm. work, as you can see, only some of it is here. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, his son Peter, who mm -hmm. you've had on the program mm -hmm. too. And so that was nice to get. I always bring him paints when I travel mm -hmm. and because there are not a not lot of paints to be bought here. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was um, very glad to also help him set up. Um, now he doesn't need my help anymore, but you know, to, to encourage him to have shows, not only in St. Lucia, but in Trinidad too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I asked you a question that dealt with you, and you oh. still went back to Derek. <laughs> well, I but that's was how you to are. say that was my business, yes, in a yes. way, but what do to you do further with, that. You know, girly, you know, girly, girly? things. Well, I don't know. <laughs> do, Derek do is not one of these guys that hangs out at a bar with, the, with yes. you know, drinking. So, because that's a lot of women take their time and uh, meet with their friends when the guys are out, mm -hmm. right? Well, he's a workaholic in a way. He's either yeah. writing or painting or something, and so I need to be around, and I enjoy that. Mm -hmm. um, and you plan a lot of the things, including Derek's birthday. Well, that's true, too, and there's a big one coming up, and we have almost 40 people coming from all over the world. New Delhi, India, China, uh, of course, three or four countries in Europe, the UK, Canada, South America, I mean, everybody's coming from somewhere. So uh, it's nice, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a horrendous uh, so task to uh, arrange all of this, but it's imagine. very, very nice that they're all coming what for Derek's 85th. What happens on that day, on his birthday? Well, uh, there's a whole week, as you know, Nobel week. Mm -hmm. There is a, uh, Dame Prelet is doing a wonderful party on the 19th at Government House. Mm -hmm for uh, a lot, all, the, all of our friends, plus a large group of people. And then Tuesday night, uh, Raoul Peck is coming to deliver the lecture. He's a Haitian filmmaker who's been a friend of ours, and we, we first stayed with him, and he had a girlfriend with him at Ladera. Okay. And we had uh, three or four beautiful days there, and that's, since then we've known him and kept up with his work. Mm -hmm. And he's coming to deliver the lecture on the 19th at mm -hmm. National Cultural Center. I think it's at 7.30. That's correct. And then the next big event will be um, Friday the 23rd, which is Derek's birthday, and we make an annual uh, catamaran ride with all of our friends and people and go to Ladera, and we have lunch at Ladera, and then we scoot into the um, uh, Soufrié, the, the volcano, because mm -hmm. lots of people have never seen that, yes. and it's a, yes. uh, it's a wonder. And then we get back on the boat, and we make one stop, en cochon or somewhere, somewhere like that, and yes. we all go swimming. And then we get home around 4 or 5, and it's a wonderful day. Yes, Everybody has I know, and everyone enjoyed looks, it. looks forward to that. Yes. They do. Well, our little time has gone by already. <laughs> you made it. I, I, I am so happy that we spent some time with you. Yes. And Thank you. Also, I just want to tell our viewers that, you know, Sigrid is very approachable. You can say hello. Because yes. <laughs> people come Absolutely. to me and they say, oh, I'd like to say hello to Sigrid. I'd like to Absolutely. say hello to Derek. Absolutely. Very approachable people. So you can say hello. You know a little bit more about Well, yourself. you've made it very easy for me. So, Sigrid, thank you so much for joining <laughs> thank us. Thank you, Delia. When we come back, we're going to meet the Honorable Derek Walcott himself. So stay with us. <laughs> 